Hey, this is uh, Jason Heretic PB Gaming Centrum of GamingCentrum.com. I uh, just wanted to do a, a quick video. Um, I know there's a, a billion videos out there on how to fix uh, Forza Horizon 3 um, on Windows 10 PC. Um, I'm going to do my own here. Um, hopefully this will help a lot of people. Now, um, when I'm recording this locally like I'm doing at the moment, um, the game will not be at 60 frames, period. Um, it may bounce in and out of 60 frames, but um, the setting, these settings actually work well um, for the game, uh, especially with the GTX 970. If you have a more powerful card, it might be a little different. Uh, it might even run even better. Um, but, uh, let me yeah, go ahead and show that, uh, ignore the backgrounds. Uh, this is my girlfriend's computer. Uh, I am building my own computer. Um, uh, but for the time being, uh, she has a pretty good computer. So I'm using that. Um, so I do have the game up and running. Um, actually, at least from the last video I had and, um, pretty much what I do here is see if I can get to the desktop somehow and there we go is I actually go into the task manager which is something you probably know about um, from the other videos on YouTube um, but what you do here is you go in here and you go to details and then it'll be on Forza it says it's not responding but I believe that's because it's um, minimized uh, but what you do is you go into priority and you do the opposite of what you would think. Um, there's a video that says to put this to high, but what you need to do is you need to set it to low priority and change it. Um, the next thing you need to go is into set affinity. And typically all processors are listed and depending on what type of processor you have may have eight or four or six or whatever or more um, but I saw this in one video in uh, actually a couple videos and it does work you uncheck zero so you're using basically seven processors or at least with this pr processor in her system um, that leaves a little room there for the system to work uh, I believe uh, I don't know exactly but uh, it's an educated guess but uh, yeah, you uncheck that and you click OK. And as you can see, this game uses a lot of memory. Um, this is what, 5.4 gig? If I'm right, if I'm wrong, correct me, please. Um, but uh, that's what you do with the Windows side. So you can go ahead and close this and bring this back up. And hopefully it'll still be running. And this is what I have it set to, and it works pretty well. Um, and like I said, when it's not recording, you will get 60 frames uh, straight, or it'll bounce between 58 to 60 every once in a while. Uh, but what I do is I turn VSync on, and I set frame rate to 60. If you turn VSync off and you do like unlocked, it, it varies a lot. Um, and you would think it would run better, but it doesn't. Um, I turn off motion blur on pretty much all my games because motion blur makes me sick. Uh, it is at 1080. Um, the video is recording at 720 because I can't record in 1080p 60 with OBS with this game. It's really weird. Uh, I do have the FPS on and I always turn frame rate smoothing on for this game. For some reason, this has to be on to work properly, at least with me in this system. Uh, dynamic optimization is completely off. I do my own, and I think that's where a lot of people get mixed up into issues with this game. Is the dynamic optimization can work, but it doesn't work all the time. Um, but let's go into the advanced settings, and I have it set to custom. And this is a GTX 970, one of them. Doesn't work with two cards, sadly. 
but uh, everything is set high. The only things that are maxed are this one and this one. And I have this on as well. Everything else is set high, as you can see. And like I said, if I wasn't recording the video, it would be about 60 frames straight. But uh, as another test here, let me go ahead and just do a quick drive around. And it's in the 40s right now. And this is with the update as well, the today's update. Now this one's a cross-country circuit. Like a cross-country, but in a circuit. Not a very imaginative name, I know. Ow. I think I'm gonna get off that road because, uh, yeah, I think just go off the road a little bit here. And I really wish that it would show the 60 frames while recording. Uh, not sure why that's not happening, but anyway. Um, so yeah, those are the settings, and typically it works pretty damn well. Um, rarely have I seen a dip below 40s outside of recording. Um, I did see before the update uh, a couple areas it did stutter. Um, but uh, that's pretty rare. Um, and I'm sure by the time Microsoft gets their ass in gear, this will be fixed properly. Um, because Gears, from what I understand, Gears of War 4 works really well. So, it just, for the racing game, you have to give Microsoft time. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, complain. Um, you can find pretty much me anywhere on the internet as Gaming Centrum. Um, any video site, any streaming site, or just about any streaming site, and on YouTube here. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.